Catalina Perez Jaramillo. So we will explore some of her information to get to know her better because that's the mission of this channel. Make known to you all these amazing women football players. Let's get started. As we can see, she's got an official website and that's really important. This shows how important for her her profession is and how important she is for Colombia and the world of women's football. And notice right away she is expressing her feelings towards football. So she's passionate about football and we all here are passionate about it. Now, currently she defends the colors of the Colombian national team and yeah, she does it in a really good way. And she plays at Verda Bremen, that is why we are here. This is the gold medal. Yeah, I, I, I think it was in Peru that they earned this uh, gold medal. Now signing for Fiorentina, I, I can't recall this, this team. I wish I knew, but I, I don't know, sorry. Real Betis in Spain, so this was like a big move for her. Then she went back to the continent, to South America, so to Brazil, to Hawaii FC. And, and then she moved to Verda Bremen. Something that's been calling my attention about her professional career is that like each year approximately or each two years she's changing of team and that's why she's a really good player but why changing so fast in my opinion of teams i don't know it's like a big question mark that i have around me but yeah so notice that in 2020 yeah she signed for fiorentina then in 2021 <coughs> She moved to Real Betis and then in 2023 she moved to Abai FC and in that same year she moved to Verda Bremen. So it's like really fast, really fast like changing teams but I don't know why. But anyways, she has experience in different continents, in different teams. So let's change for a while and explore her social media so this is her official instagram and here we can see something that for me is really big she's sponsored by adidas which shows how important she is how good she is and how women's football has been growing and growing yeah this is something big for me to see now Let's follow her, of course, and explore some of her pictures. So I, I don't recall this. Was this in the Soccer World Cup or is this a um, friendly game? Can remember? This was like a friendly game. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, so just give her a like. yeah <laughs> great performance yeah i really like this picture because it shows her passion as she mentions and her leadership because on the pitch she is like a second leader so each time you see her playing she has this contenance of going there to just get things done on the field she shows the whole thing that she's really confident in her position and I really like this picture. Here she was like flying. I even wrote that. She's just flying. In that game, her performance was amazing. Even the commentator was surprised at the way she jumped to get the ball. It was like a bird flying, right? Sadly, she made a mistake in that game. And this game was her return to the team again after the injury. So it was like, ah. Uh, having this great performance but at the same time this mistake is like but anyway something I really like from her 
social media is Daya. She shows how important for her family, friends, and people are to her. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look at this picture. Really like it. Yeah, notice. Yes, she's like always, always there with people around. Yeah, this was in the Football World Cup in New Zealand. So yeah, I really like, I really like, notice her attitude, yeah. Here she is with Lina Hausica and I ah, forgot the name, but her surname is Lursen. So yeah, but notice, notice the attitude in the official website from Werder Bremen. So let's see if they have detailed information about her. Mm, not too much, sadly. But yeah, so we, we gotta say that something positive about the website of the team is that they show like the pictures of the players so we have access to them. And yeah, here, the point here is that these three goalkeepers are new to the team. So she's competing against the other two, especially Livia Pank. She has been in the starting 11 in many, many games in this season. So she needs to deliver this year a lot and her performance has to be to the top in order to beat Livia Pank because Livia, yeah, she, she's good. But yeah, so let's hope that Catalina does better. So anyway, so let's have a look at, well, here in the website, so some news about her contract. So they were happy to, to have her in the team. So yeah, so this, uh, this is a historical team in Germany. So this is not something like small, this is kind of big, yeah, for Colombian football players to be in Germany and a team like Werder Bremen. Now, I want to show you this website, Fußball Transfers. We have first the very basic information about her, but let's move on to statistics. And here in this statistics, we see interesting things. So notice that star 12, so is the starting 11? Oh, sadly, it's like, what? So I, I guess this, this needs to be updated because, yeah. So she's been like in the starting 11, like twice or three times. Games played, the, the cards, yellow red cards. And Verletzungen, Verletzungen, <laughs> I think that's the pronunciation. This shows uh, the different injuries she has suffered and notice that in yellow they are marking an injury that was kind of serious for her and yeah, that ah, caused this situation of her not being able to play in the starting 11 for a while and Livia Peng was in many games in the starting 11 so it would be really interesting to see this competition between Livia Pank and Catalina Perez this year. I hope, I hope that it gets better and better because both goalkeepers are really good. So I am from Colombia, so I'm rooting for Catalina, of course. But yeah, let's see what happens this year. This was a quick exploration of the profile of Catalina Perez. As you could see, she is an experienced player that has played in different teams, but the point there is why like each year or two years changing team. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that she stays in Verda Bremen for four seasons, five seasons. I want to see that because yeah, we love women's Bundesliga. 
we want to see those players staying there delivering amazing amazing skills thank you for being here i hope you liked this video if you have comments on what else you would like to see from the players in this section please in the comment section indicate that also indicate your opinions on the performance of catalina perez and what you think about her profile and yeah help me with this question why is she changing from team to team each year or each two years that's i insist that that was the big thing for me like why so do you have any idea because she's a really good player so anyway so thank you for being here subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it so click on the bell to activate all notifications and get all the videos that we are preparing for you here in Alina Fußball.